Okay, so now we're at the inside of the home and uh, this is the uh, duct blower door assembly. So what we've done here is we uh, configured the uh, ring on the lower door fan down there to uh, ring A and we're going to go ahead and depressurize the house to 50 pascals and start taking our pressure pan readings. So here's our manometer. We're going to start to depressurize the house to uh, get to 50 over on the left side of the screen. And once we get to 50, we'll start testing or getting our pressure pan readings. So as you can see we're at 50 and we're going to go ahead and start taking our pressure pan readings. Okay so what I did here is I have the uh, pressure pan placed right over that vent like you see there and we're going to take readings on the manometer to show how tight or how leaky the uh, system is. I don't know if the light lets us see, but over on the left, you can see we're getting a 0 0.7, 0 0.8. Uh, so this is not leaky by much. Okay, we're on to something here. Uh, we got our blower door running at the front of the house, uh, actually by the garage door. And this noise that we hear, I will be able to explain... Uh, once I get back to the front of the house, but there's definitely some infiltration into the building here, and I'll explain that in a moment. Okay, what I did now is I shut off the uh, blower door fan so we can cut the noise, but what's happening here basically is the uh, vent from the dryer that goes to the outside has a damper, and that damper should uh, only open this way, so it vents the air from the dryer to the outside. If that damper is loose it's going to be doing this number. So what's happening is with the blower door fan on which is depressurizing the house it's going to bring in uh, outside air into the home. And this will essentially happen with a mechanical system such as your air conditioner when it comes on it's also going to pull air through paths of least resistance and this would be a perfect example of that. So because of this, I'm also going to do a five-point multi-blower door test just to see how leaky or how much this is contributing to the overall building leakage. In other words, the uh, leakage coming into the house. On the uh, pressure pan readings, all the readings were okay. There were a few that were a little bit high that can be taken care of uh, with mastic adhesive. Uh, but the house is what I'm worried about here. Overall, the house is leaky, and that, of course, will be contributed through uh, leaks that you can see around the doorway or anywhere that you can see a little bit of daylight. Uh, but we will do a five-point multi-blower door test just to see the size of the hole as far as leakage uh, from infiltration coming into the building. What we're going to do now is we're going to... Uh, kind of accentuate the fact that the house as a whole is leaky. Uh, I'm going to put the pressure pan right here, right up against some of these uh, recessed can lights and some other holes and crevices in the house to show the difference between uh, these readings right here where our, you know, the highest reading was 2.0 and that's on the duct system. That's a very small leak compared to what we're going to see on these uh, recessed can lights 
and uh, other holes that we'll be able to uh, test as well, just to do a uh, comparison, if you will. Okay, as you, as you can hear behind me, the blower door fan is still running. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test these two uh, crevices. I put my hand on there, and you can feel a lot of air coming in. Obviously, the uh, wall cavities are hollow, and they are connected to the attic, which is vented to the outside. So you're going to bring hot air into the home while you're cooling the home. So I'm going to go ahead and place the... Uh, the pressure pan right over it here and if you look over to the left you can see that I'm at a 36.2 so all that is air that is coming into the home and what happens in many cases uh, folks will have their thermostat right on there and they forget to uh, use like uh, uh, spray foam in a can that great stuff uh, foam insulation to insulate the uh, outside air to the inside air. So you will turn on your thermostat and you will actually bring in hot air from the outside across that thermostat and your thermostat will be getting a false reading. So you also want to make sure that you look behind your thermostat and make sure that that is sealed off as well. And here's yet another issue. One final thing that I'm going to test is the uh, actual exhaust fans that exhaust the air from the bathrooms to the outside. You might also have some in the kitchen, but uh, depending on how much you pay for them and how old they are, the dampers on these are also very loose. Uh, nowadays they also have some exhaust fans that have a humidity sensor in them. so. If you turn one on and leave the bathroom and it's on two hours later, that won't happen to you anymore. It'll just run until it gets the humidity out. And they're really uh, very good uh, exhaust fans and they're energy star rated. So we're going to put the uh, pressure pan right on there, like so. And we're going to take a look at the reading on the manometer. 
So we have a 45.5. This also means to the homeowner that while the air conditioning is running, once again, you're also bringing hot air into the home. So a recommendation would be to get uh, exhaust fans. Sometimes these exhaust fans are installed uh, improperly on new construction if the house was built uh, on a fast pace. Uh, some of this stuff gets overlooked and we find it on tests like the ones we're doing today.